Question number five, Julie Ann Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport. On what date was the most recent cost-benefit analysis for the East-West Link project published, and what were the project's total estimated costs and total estimated benefits in that analysis? The Hon. Simon Bridges. The most recent cost-benefit analysis for the East-West Link project was published in December 2015 as part of the detailed business case for the project. The expected capital cost for the project in 2015 dollars was $1.05 billion, and the benefits of the project and net present value are $1.764 billion. The project's estimated costs and benefits are as reported in the detailed business case, which is available on the Transport Agency's website. The commonly referred to cost figure of $1.25 billion is an escalated capital cost figure, which is equivalent to the $1.05 billion unescalated capital cost figure referenced in the detailed business case. Escalated capital cost is used for funding applications for subsequent phases to account for inflation. Supplementary? <laughs> Supplementary question? I'm just waiting for a bit of silence. Supplementary question, Julianne Genta. Can he confirm that the estimated cost of the East West Link project has increased by almost $1 billion since that analysis was completed, from $918 million, or $1.05 billion, as he said, in net present value, to $1.9 billion, according to the New Zealand Transport Agency? The Hon. Simon Bridges. Mr. Speaker, no. Point of order? Our point of order, Julianne Genta. Uh, I seek leave to table a memo obtained from the New Zealand Transport Agency under the Official Information Act showing the estimated cost of this project is now $1.9 billion. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? Right. There is no objection that can be tabled. Wonderful. Supplementary question? Supplementary Julie question. Anderson. Can he confirm that in 2015, his transport agency estimated the benefits of the East West Link project to be $1.7 billion. So, if the cost of the project is now $1.9 billion, this means the project will actually lose the country money. The Honourable Simon Bridges. Mr. Speaker, no, I think the member's uh, wrong. I appreciate she's New Zealand's foremost uh, transport economist, but on this occasion, she's wrong. The uh, BCR. The best estimate is 1.9. This is a very strong project that make a really strong difference, not just to Auckland, but to New Zealand in transportation terms. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julie Ann Genta. Isn't it strange that now the costs outweigh the benefits of the project? The transport agency's own economist gave evidence last week that said, quote, I have not prepared a quantitative assessment of the economic costs of the project. Neither have I quantified the benefits. The Honourable Simon Bridges. Oh, Mr Speaker, well, I'm not sure what the member is asking me to say. I appreciate she hates roads, but this will be a great one. <laughs> Supplementary question? Supplementary question, Julie Ann Genta. Will the minister admit that it's a double standard for his government to fast-track a $2 billion highway project with costs that outweigh the benefits and at the same time tell Aucklanders they have to wait 30 years for rail to the airport and we don't have the money to pay for critical rail freight projects like order, the third order, main line bring in Auckland. the question to a conclusion. The Honourable Simon Bridges. Oh, Mr Speaker, no, not at all. Uh, this is a government that's strong across infrastructure across the board, whether it's road, rail, public transport, cycleways. I think the double standard is to use roads when you hate them. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julie Ann Genta. Okay. Does the minister understand that, unlike the East-West Link project, rail to the airport and the third main rail freight line will actually make it easier for far more people and far more freight to travel through Auckland, and that both these projects, the benefits far outweigh the costs? Why isn't that his priority? The Honourable well, Mr. Speaker, Bridges. probably don't understand as much as New Zealand's foremost transport economist uh, who's sitting across the road. And that's a big acknowledgement from me. But what I can say is uh, we like and we support projects across the board, whether it's road, rail, public transport, cycleways. What is true about the third main project that she keeps referring to is it's simply at an earlier stage in its investment process. Order. Order. 
a point of order yes. from the Right Honourable Winston yes. Peters. Mr Speaker, why has this minister allowed four insults and four answers whilst he mangles the English order. language syllable by syllable? Order. 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 Just ruling on the matter raised by the Honourable Winston Peters, my job is to see the questions addressed as then for this House and the public to us to judge the quality of the answer. Point of order from the from Julianne Genta. Uh, point of order, I don't take offence at the insults. I know it's because the minister doesn't have a good argument. Order, order. <laughs> and that is not that is not a point of order. Point of order, Mr Speaker, point of order. I, well, will this be a point of order? Point I of order. So. Point of order, Julianne Genta. I seek leave to table a memo from the New Zealand Transport Agency obtained under the Official Information Act that shows rail to the airport costs $1 billion and the benefits far outweigh the costs. Leave us sought to table that particular document sourced under the OIA. Any objection? There is none. Point of order. Point of order, Julie and Genta. I seek leave to table the business case for the third main rail line that states the forecast benefits significantly exceed the expected costs. Can I just clarify that that's not publicly available? I'm concerned the minister might try to obstruct it. Order, no, its order. I've again. said on many occasions. <laughs> order, I've said on many occasions. If you seek to table something, it's your duty to have found out whether it's publicly available. If you can't get me that assurance, I'm not putting the leave. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Julie and Genta. To the minister, isn't the real reason Aucklanders are stuck sitting in traffic, not because rail to the airport or rail to the North Shore or a third main rail line are too expensive, but because his government is wasting money and wasting our time on uneconomic billion-dollar motorway projects like the East-West Link? The Honourable Simon Mr. Bridges. Speaker, no, it's because there's a lot of growth uh, in Auckland. And if you take the East-West project, this is a project that's significant that Auckland Council has prioritised, that Auckland business has prioritised, not just over a few years, over a very long time. And when it's built, it will make a really significant uh, difference in congestion terms, uh, as I say, not just actually to Auckland, but across New Zealand, given its national significance. Question number six, Sarah Derry. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My